What's good, people? Urban Tech Reviews, and today on the channel, I'll be doing a quick review of the Loran Bluetooth MP3 player. Let's check it out. All right, so this MP3 player you can get on Amazon.com, and the ticket on it is going to be 55 bucks. Oh, Lord! It comes in two different colors. You can get it in this black and they also have a blue variant as well. All right, so a lot of people might be thinking right now, who needs a Bluetooth MP3 player? Who needs an MP3 player? Who still uses MP3 players? All right, well, at my job, where I work with uh, young kids or kids and stuff like that, and they don't have access to cell phones. So uh, it's an RTF, residential treatment facility for, you know, whatever. I'm not going to put that out there, but um, so they use these type of devices all the time this is a very very popular device at uh the facility that i work at and any really facility that uh you know like mine you know this is a very popular device so bluetooth mp3 players mp3 players in general are very very popular i thought that myself like who the heck still uses mp3 players but um really 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 popular all right so uh this right here it, it has a bunch of features. It has, it's kind of like a, a mini cell phone. Uh, you got a, a screen lock on there, which you could just press it and unlock it. And then you have access to apps. And the apps that you have is music, you have video, uh, gallery, ebook, a recorder, calculator, uh, clock, file transfer, file manager, FM radio, a internet browser, uh, you have the settings, you have a calendar, and you have a, a music player that is dedicated uh, for this device. So what all comes with the uh, Loran MP3 player? Of course, you get the MP3 player, you get a screen protector, you get a pair of corded earbuds, you get a USB Type-C charging cable, you get two adapters to uh, plug in, you get a uh, set of wipes, dry and uh, wet wipes to put on your screen protector. And you get an instruction manual. Let's get a look at the MP3 player. So right here, this is going to be your uh, power button. So your power button is here. And in order to turn on this device, you want to hold the power button down. Long press it for about three seconds. And that will... Um, turn on your device same with powering off you just want to hold a uh, long pressure uh, power button for about three seconds uh, this is your volume up and down and it has like a, um, a hard uh, maybe metal bezel around it so it's not a uh, you know soft or anything like that it's a pretty nice hard bezel when around it you have your micro uh, SD card slot on the left side of the mp3 player nothing on the top on the right side, you have your uh, your volume buttons up and down, and you have your power button. On the uh, bottom of your device, you have your uh, headphone jack with 3.5 millimeter headphone. Uh, you have your microphone, and you have a USB Type C charging port, and you have your speaker phone on the uh, back. So this is where your speaker will, uh, your music will come out of your speaker. Uh, also on the back of it, which is glass, it's kind of fingered up right now, but it is a glass back. So if you drop that, uh, it might break, you know, even though your sides and stuff might be protected with the uh, metal uh, housing that it's in, but uh, the side, the back is glass as well as the front is glass. Um, you press, you tap it while it's, while it's on, you tap it, and then that uh, open up your screen, and then you just long press the, the lock, like an Android device, and open up your uh, MP3 player. Um, really simplistic. If you're used to, you know, using touchscreen cell phones, this will be no different than that. It's really easy and simple to use. Adding songs or adding videos to this is really simple. There's two ways that you can do it. You can actually use your uh, USB Type-C cable and plug it into the bottom of here and then connect the other end of that cable into a USB uh, slot on your computer or laptop or whatever you want to use and you can transfer files that way. 
or you can take the uh, micro SD card out of here and you can put that into your computer, your laptop or whatever device you have uh, audio or video on and you can transfer the file straight to the uh, SD card and then put the SD card back into your device and uh, watch or listen to the uh, the content that you put on there. So this MP3 player uses uh, Bluetooth 4.2 it uh, has a screen size of 4.0 inches. It also has a battery capacity of 1500 milliamps. The uh, internal memory is uh, one gigabyte or eight gigabytes of RAM. The expansion slot is up to 512 gigabytes. So they give you a 32 gigabyte, but you can actually expand it up to 512 gigabytes. So if you want to transfer media, from a cell phone or any other uh, Bluetooth device or anything like that to the uh, um, the MP3 player or vice versa, you need to download an app for iOS called Zapya Go. Z a p y g o. Uh, no, Z a p y a g o. Zapia Go, and for uh, Android devices, you use an app called MiniShare, M-I-N-I Share, okay, so that allows you to transfer uh, media between uh, devices, so you will go and uh, put the app on to your iOS device, and then on your MP3 player, you hit uh, File Share, and it takes you to MiniShare, all right, so, it, uh, so you want to say join a group, and then once you join a group, then it will uh, connect it. So if I hit share on here, I'm already connected between these two. They're already uh, connected and I shared uh, a picture. But if I want to share something else, let's say I go to, um, let's say I want to uh, share a picture. So I share the selfie and I just click that selfie and then I click send. Okay, and then uh, on here there's no device so you see it's not connected to anything and then M4 pops up which is this device so I just click M4 on here and you see it's loading up on there and the file is received so uh, you just check through here and you can see uh, what actually popped up on here or you know what I mean whatever uh, that you have on here your files will be on this device so really easy to do to transfer a file from one device to another device uh, real simple to do this is what a video will look like on here there's a video I transfer uh, from my iPhone so you can see what it uh, looks like on here <laughs> So not bad, and this is, you know what I mean, for a four inch screen device and everything. This is a uh, pretty decent quality. I would say good quality, really. So that's what a uh, video will look like on this device. So this is the web browser. You see, it's the uh, web link up there. So this is my YouTube uh, channel. You see how clear the video is, how it sounds. Sounds and look really good. See, we're on my YouTube, so it's uh, able and capable of uh, browsing the internet if that's something that you want to do. And of course, you got to be connected to uh, Wi Fi to uh, do that to surf the web and stuff like that. You got to be connected to Wi Fi. I downloaded a couple uh, music songs on here, some of my own personal songs, so uh, I'm just going to show you that uh, you can play music on here. It says, un known artists if you go back or whatever it has the songs and stuff on there uh you see council which is my old rap group got it on my hand um <clears throat> but you could just click that go to the songs and just play uh pick a song on here and uh the play yeah i see that All right, so that's the music feature. Like I said, music is really e easy to add uh, on here. You can do it a couple different ways. So let me go through the settings real quick. If you uh, want to check out the settings, you got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound, uh, the display, storage, 
Uh, you can disable app. You got security features, uh, language and input, factory data reset, date and time, uh, schedule power off, and about the device. So, uh, you know, this is really like a Android device. That's really what it reminds me of. Uh, if you're familiar with Android devices, it really has a lot of those uh, looks and feels like a uh, Android device. But it's uh, really cool and uh, you see it's all touch screen and you can just tap apps and stuff like that and it'll load up the app and everything. So really nice, nice and uh, neat features. If you want to take a screenshot with this device, yes it is. Uh, able to take screenshots what you do is simultaneously press the power button and the volume down button so you press them at the same time and it takes a screenshot so that like I said is this is very very similar to an Android device uh, and that's a, a nice little feature to have in case you was on the web or something like that and you wanted to you know take a quick screenshot of something you have that uh, those abilities to uh, do those type of things another uh, feature that they have on here is a security feature which allows you to use uh, four different locking methods to uh, lock this mp3 player you can use a slide which is you know you just slide the, the bar or whatever then you have a pattern which is like your uh, little dots where you just make a pattern or whatever. Then you have a pen, which is numeric that you can use. You can also use a, um, a password. So if you want to use letters as a password. So that's, uh, you know, a lot of options to use when it comes to uh, locking up this device. If you didn't want somebody to get into it or something like that, then that's a... Uh, a dope feature in my opinion to have for this mp3 player now I'm going to answer the question that everybody really wants to know this is the reason why you watch the video is is this Luron uh, mp3 player worth your money I think it is uh, tons of features really cell phone ish like so maybe you have a young child or a child that hasn't gotten a cell phone yet and you want to kind of test them out Instead of buying them, you know, $200, $300, $1,000 cell phone or something, you can get them a little Bluetooth MP3 player. $50, bucks. Um, see how they are with this. If they're able to manage this, maybe you'll be able to upgrade them one day or something like that. Maybe you just have somebody who doesn't want to use their phone for listening to uh, music and watching videos and stuff like that. This could be that device. You can uh, get on the internet. You can uh, download music, videos, pictures, whatever you want to do on here. So this right here is definitely worth your money screenshot capabilities um all type of of uh capabilities with this bluetooth mp3 player so uh in my opinion i think it's worth the money and uh if you're in the market for a mp3 player this would be a nice way to go so definitely check these out i'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in buying one of these but it's urban tech reviews if you like this video or you just enjoy my content let me know by clicking the thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel you can do that easily by clicking on the android guy in the bottom right hand corner of your screen if you're not following me on all my social media sites all that information is available in the description and as always see you on the next one